Recycling, formerly known as General Iron, suing the city of Chicago for $100 million. The company claims that the city violated a contract by not issuing a final permit to operate at its new site on the southeast side. And WGN's Patrick Elwood has been following all this. He joins us from that controversial site now. Patrick? Ray and Micah, good evening to you. One of the organizations based right here in the neighborhood vehemently opposing the startup of this recycling plant, United Neighbors for the 10th Ward, says that the lawsuit is to be expected and its resolve now is greater than ever. Southside Recycling, which used to be known as General Iron when it operated a facility in Lincoln Park, is not given up without a fight. Only days removed from Mayor Lightfoot pumping the brakes on the permit, which would allow it to begin recycling at its new Southside facility at 116th and the Calumet River at the request of the Biden administration's EPA. That company is suing the city now for more than $100 million. Southside Recycling, in its suit, claims the city reneged on a 2019 agreement in which it agreed to buy then shutter the Lincoln Park plant and move the recycling to the southeast side where it already had another operation. We knew what we were getting into with this with this company. Um, we knew this was a possibility. Yesenia Chavez is part of a Latino organization from the neighborhood that has opposed the opening of Southside Recycling from the beginning. While the recycling represents jobs, its negatives, they believe, far outweigh the positives, especially in an area that has experienced environmental and air quality issues for decades related to other companies. The plant would be close to homes, parks, and schools. To read today that this company is requesting $100 million and understanding that that's coming out of our pockets as taxpayers. Because now at this point, it's not just a Southeast side issue. This is an issue for the entire city because it's not just our pockets that this money is gonna come from. Um, and then on top of that, this is in the midst of a respiratory crisis and a pandemic where we have seen economic collapse. So it's baffling. So the lawsuit was filed in federal court in addition to the in excess of $100 million in damages. It's asking that federal judge to greenlight the permit so it can begin its business recycling operations in earnest. Basically what's happening today, stay tuned. Reporting from 116th and Avenue O, Patrick Elwood, WGN News. Ray Micah, back to you in the studio. Thank you, Patrick. Coming up, Republican.